I'm also Maddie. We're both students here at ASU. And we work for University Sustainability Practices. University Sustainability Practices is a department here on campus that focuses on supporting ASU's sustainability goals. ASU ranks number one in a lot of things, as we all know. When it comes to sustainability, ASU is named number one coolest school by Sierra Magazine and the United Nations ranked ASU number one for supporting the sustainable development goals. So how did ASU accomplish all this? We're going to take you on a tour to find out. ASU strives to accomplish a set of initiatives aimed at creating a sustainable campus. The sustainability goals are climate positive, collaborative action, optimized water, circular resources, food reconnection, personal action, and resilience and regeneration. Our tour is going to showcase a few ways that these goals are represented on the Tempe campus. Our tour starts here at the Student Pavilion. The Student Pavilion was actually the first LEED Platinum building here on ASU's campus. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is a certification process that all buildings on campus go through to determine how sustainable they are. From its conception, the pavilion was designed for net zero energy and zero waste. For example, condensation and rainwater are used for irrigation, which cleans, filters, and reuses water that would have otherwise gone to waste. The building's materials and landscaping absorb a lot less heat than traditional materials. This keeps both the building and the surrounding area a lot cooler. Even from the demolition of the previous building, all materials were either recycled or upcycled. The previous building even had a stray bike, and instead of just throwing it away, they found it a new home. Speaking of bikes, across from the student pavilion, you'll find one of the three bike valets on the campus. The process is really simple. Students are able to bring their bikes to one of the three locations, drop their bike off, and receive a claim tag in return. When they're ready to pick up their bike, they'll just exchange the claim tag and receive their bike, and they're good to go. Riding a bike to campus reduces your greenhouse gas emissions, and the bike valet provides a safe and secure place to store your bike. If you look up, you'll see the solar power parasol. This whole space used to be a sunny and hot pathway with little to no sun protection. Because of the parasol, it's since been transformed into a social hub with lots of shade and seating. The solar panels above us are a great source of renewable energy for ASU, and they also provide a lot of shade for the ground below. They were built to mimic the filtered shade of trees to make the space feel a little more natural and a lot less industrial. The ASU solar project started in 2004 and now ASU has over 83,000 on-site solar panels and over 93,000 solar panels off-site near Casa Grande, all producing energy for the university. This is the central plant at the Tempe campus. It generates chilled water for air conditioning and process cooling for over 9.4 million square feet of buildings. In one year, the Tempe campus uses over 600 million gallons of water. However, they have plans to reduce this number in the coming years. And one way to do that is to update the utility infrastructure in other ASU buildings that will improve the efficiency of the chilled water in the plant. A great example of this actually comes from a student organization. CSSI installed low flow toilets in the MU in 2018. Have you ever wondered why the landscape at ASU is kind of unique? Well, that's because it is inspired by the Sonoran Desert ecosystem that we reside in. These native plants use far less water because they've adapted to the arid desert climate. Landscaping can also be used to mitigate the urban heat island effect. Moving forward, ASU plans to continue using native plants in their landscaping, keeping our campus beautiful and sustainable. Speaking of plants, the entire campus was officially dedicated as an arboretum in 1990. Across campus, you can find a wide variety of fruit trees like lemon, orange, grapefruit, date, and pecan. Students are actually allowed to pick the fruit from the trees. If you can reach them. <laughs> ASU prides itself in having the first school of sustainability in the nation which is now a part of the College of Global Futures. The School of Sustainability offers numerous undergraduate majors, minors, and certificates, and tons of graduate programs. Behind me, you can see Wrigley Hall. Wrigley Hall was home to the first School of Sustainability here on ASU's campus, and there are a lot of features that make this building sustainable, like the solar panels on the roof, the breezeway, as well as the passive solar element on the windows that helps protect the interior from direct sunlight. 
Besides academics, there are also a few departments that are focused on supporting ASU's sustainability goals. The Zero Waste Department focuses on circular resources. They're the reason that you've seen these landfill and recycling bins on campus. You might have even seen the green bins, which are part of their composting program. If you're ever unsure of which bin to use, there's pictures to help. The Zero Waste Department has a lot of programs that help ASU minimize and manage our waste. Green games are a way to make ASU athletics more sustainable. The Blue Bag program helps us recycle items that are typically difficult to recycle, like K-cups and batteries. Ditch the Dumpster is another program we have here at ASU where students are able to donate or recycle their belongings during move-in and move-out. This helps keep their belongings out of the landfill. Hi everyone, my name is Kirby Skorik and we're here today with an exciting update. We're currently at the corner of University and Rural at the Robin Melanie Walton Center for Planetary Health. This new building is used to house research labs for biological sciences, engineering, life sciences, and sustainability. In addition to this building being used for sustainability research, the building design is also sustainable itself. The panels on the outside of the building are angled in a way that provides shade during the summer months and lets more light in during the winter months. This helps to cut down on heating and cooling costs overall. Because this building was recently constructed, we're hoping that it'll achieve LEED gold at a minimum at the end of the certification process. Thank you so much for tuning in on this walking tour today. We hope you learned a thing or two about sustainability here at ASU. And remember, if you ever want to learn more information, you can find out more on our social media at asu.usp. Nice!